Hello, hello, Taurus. What's going on? All right, let me see this really quick one on this finger in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Okay, well, there's a distant friend that is thinking of you, someone out of distance. You are on their mind. It's either you or this person, but there's definitely a helping hand involved in need of help, assistance, and guidance. I see that this is going to solve a problem. So someone at a distance and you are going to solve a concern. You already may know of this, especially with the finger. It says warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. I feel like this friend has this solution or you have this solution for this friend at a distance. This is going to solve um, a major concern. <laughs> so you can continue with your plans at this point. There could have been some sort of a hold up, pause, a break, trying to fix something. Your your plans were halted. Okay. Not anymore. Cause you're going to overcome this with this person. Now I feel like that speaks for itself. So here we've got someone with self delusion. This may be someone who's in a space of manifestation. They are so delusional that they're trying to create from this point. So sometimes they tell you to be delusional about what you're creating, right? So you can have an overabundance of confidence. It does appear to be in this person's energy that way. So here they come. It could be Year of the Dragon. There's Leo energy here as well. Happiness and well-being. Maybe you are of self-delusion. And then the wish that is meant to be granted here. I feel like this has to do with you, Taurus. The wish. I really do. So let's see what's going on between you and this person. Hello? All right. <laughs> what's going on between Taurus and this person, please? What is the energy? Uh... Okay, so we've got snake energy, honeymoon phase, childlike moving on, and new beginning with a new love vibe. Okay, one more on that. Ex-lover. That's what I thought. This is what I thought. So memories, the past, old flame, and nostalgic. It's looking like this person. Oh, you guys are at a crossroads. I feel like you guys may want different things. You're going to start realizing this. In the coming period. So even if this is not romantic, although some of you it may be, there's someone that wants something other than what you want. And this is going to become so very apparent here. Give me one on this person. So this could be their delusion that everybody's good, everybody's kosher, everything's fine. We're coming together, things are working, you know, perfectly. Uh, so here's the realization. They will have this realization that you guys are on different pages, okay? So enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and rebirth. And then, yeah, addiction on the bottom. Let's see for Taurus. Where's Taurus in this energy? Where is Taurus in the energy today, please? Okay, so you've got fear, fear of change. Ah. Huh. Okay. Let me just tell you, something feels off. You guys are looking at a situation, the same situation, like your relationship. You guys are both looking at it, but through different lenses, from different perspectives. There's definitely some sort of a mix up here. Let me try to see who this is. This is Sagittarius, seventh house, and Uranus. Oh, that's like tower energy. Yeah. So some kind of sudden shift is coming. It could be about the plans that you guys had that is shaking up here is what it feels like in this reading today. Like your plans are not going accordingly or they will not in the coming future. In the coming future. Okay. That's kind of redundant, isn't it? Let's see who this is in Taurus's reading with the delusion. So it's a zaddy. It's zaddy energy, emperor vibes, gay, maybe a boss, manager, some sort. 
or is a bossy type character, an individual, lots of fire energy about them. They could be quite passionate. They could also be someone who gets a little heated at times and is not afraid to let you know about it. So tell me one more on this emperor. Father figure, spousal energy. Yeah, lots of fire. Like I said, this person does feel very fiery. So this very well could be a fire sign individual. However, if it's not, however, if it's not, this is someone who is in this element. They are very passionate. They're in a space of action. They're in a space of even spontaneity at this point. It looks like they're resisting doing something very flippant. However, that may come through. Whatever they're doing feels like it was just thrown out there. Show me Taurus in the energy. So there is a new beginning here, by the way. Let's see what's up. Where's Taurus here? You are also in some Leo energy. Ooh, Taurus. One more on Taurus. Four of Cups. Okay, so I see now. I see. You're resisting something here. You are. Could be this beginning that's trying to come through from this fiery individual. So you want them to realize what space you're actually in, what you're actually experiencing. You need them to realize this. You have an undesirable energy in your experience with this person and you're not willing to give it, your energy to it. You're not trying to feed the undesirability of a situation. And so the way that you're going about this is keep into yourself. How does this person see Taurus? Page of Cups. Well, they feel as though you guys, yeah, Six of Cups, yeah. And the Star card, they feel as though you guys have this very sweet element about you. You are very nurturing and kind. They feel like sweetheart energy. This is giving very much so high school sweethearts. So perhaps you've known this person for a while. However, they're talking about you guys being in total, complete alignment and in soulmate energy. This is how this person is seeing you. They're having this offer for you as though you guys are meant to be. That's what they're saying. That's what they see you as. That's what they're experiencing. How does Taurus see this person? It's like, would you please offer, um, accept my offer here? You don't. You kind of accept this cup, but you are not pleased with it. And so you decide not to take any more from the cup. You taste it, right? You take a little sip, but you're like, mm, it's not my, my cup of tea. It's not my flavor, not to my liking. And you're in a space of resisting any further of that. So how does Taurus see this person? You see them with the Page of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, really. You may feel as though this person's rushing that they could be so very excited or feeling super spontaneous about you. Yeah, this is where the delusion comes in. You may feel as though this person is delusional in what they want regarding you. It's like the wish that they have about you is supposed to bring about this happiness, this sense of love, sweetness, well-being that you guys could get to this place if only Taurus would accept this cup and this wand here. Like I'm acting on my feelings. I hope Taurus will also understand that about me. But you're saying here that this person is coming in out of a space of spontaneity, not necessarily thinking things through, that they may not be looking at the signs of the situation or they're not catching your drift. They may be a little bit pushy or rushed. And so you're saying, slow your roll a little bit. Okay? Like this person needs to slow their roll. You may realize that this person is trying to come from a place of calling a truce with you too, if that's a case, especially if this is someone you already know with the ex-lover energy, which I feel like you do here. Um, they're trying to call a truce with you. They're trying to initiate communication and you may feel not ready to communicate or not really interested in talking about whatever they're coming at you with. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this fear energy is about for Taurus. The f so fear of okay so here's the deal there's like some of you this is a fire sign 
they may have Scorpio and Aquarius about them. So there's heavy fire. However, for example, they could be like a sun, Aries or Sagittarius. And then their rising sign is like Scorpio, um, Aquarius or their moon sign or something like this, you know? So here you're saying that this person Huh. They're not bringing in something that would be very attractive to you, number one. And you're also basing this off of prior experiences that you've had with this person. You're saying, okay, well, if I decide to talk to them, I'm just going to get caught right back into that web and I'm going to get spit back out on the other side and regret the whole entire thing again for wasting my time feeling wasting my time crying, wasting my time talking. This is how you are experiencing this. You're saying that you may need to just get to a better place. You're not trying to be sad anymore. You don't want to be involved in something that you feel will result in a loss again. That's not, that's not what you're trying to do at all. And you feel that that's what they're coming at you with. Okay. So there's something in your energy that you're telling me you cannot go back to the way that it feels. Whether that means it's associated with this person, highly plausible here, or that you do not want to feel this way again in general and somebody else has made you feel this way. So let's see about this, what this person is realizing here with that spiritual awakening. Oh, King of Cubs, the three. Now, Taurus, I will tell you this. You may have a person who is trying to mend a relationship with you um, as well as a new person trying to initiate a very passionate and heated beginning with you. And with this newer energy, it's coming off as very, I would say, lusty. Lusty, maybe? Yeah, maybe that's the word here. They've got a lot of lust about them, very attractive energy. But you look like you're opting out anyway. However, the opportunity appears to be there. Um, this may be someone that you've known for a while as well. The person that could activate the lust behavior. And is attempting to get you to reciprocate that. This is a person that you may know from a long, long time ago. Could be. All right. Or they, they are very similar to somebody that you have known. So this person here is realizing. What is this though? Hold on. Yeah. This is someone who is having a realization of their true, true feelings is what they're saying about you especially they're saying oh my goodness you're my person and i feel this now and i want to express this now and i want you to see things the same way this is somebody who is having this realization about how perfect your situation could be <laughs> okay so what is the history between taurus and this person please they're like i'm so in love with you you know They may feel as though you are more balanced when you stay away from them, or this is how you're perceiving something, too. What is this here? Okay, yeah, so you have had plans with this person in the past. At least there were discussions for this. Maybe this was a relationship with the ex-lover energy and the Three of Pentacles, but it's looking like this is someone who's been trying to mend things with you. You have an opportunity, if you want to, to accept what this person is bringing you. However, you appear to be valuing some sense of realizing what's good for you. You're like, I realize how I feel, what I need to feel. And that's my priority during this time. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come into your reading today. I'm going to pull another deck here. Okay. Tell me this person's true intentions with Taurus. Yeah. Okay. See, 
And that's right here too. And I was just looking at it and I was like, maybe we should clarify this. We don't have to any further because here it is. We've got sun, happiness, and well-being right here in their true intention. This is their intention is to be so delusional about the situation that you actually want the same thing. That's what they're doing. I don't know if they know that they're delusional. We should probably pull a card on that just to see. But here they are saying, I want to alleviate the situation. I want Taurus to be happy with what I'm offering. And I also want to reciprocate that. And they're looking for you to see that the situation is also hopeful and happy. And you guys are supposed to have fun together. And, you know, you really vibe. That's how they're saying in their intentions. They want this relationship and they want you to see it the same way. They want you to see them as a very good partner with you, that they will be someone who will be teamed up with you at every stage step that, you know, I'm your person kind of thing. Tell me what this delusion energy is. So yeah, just to see, because that's what they're thinking. They feel like it's right. It's the right thing to do here that, you know, this is my wish fulfillment. And so Taurus must feel the same way, right? Of course, of course, Taurus does. Let me see here. So yeah. So this person is, um, they think that you are so in love with them that you will put everything else to the side here that you <laughs> and so the reading is saying a little bit differently than what they think especially because we're talking about the delusion that this person has currently okay i'm not trying to pick on anybody this is the reading like they're sitting here talking about how you guys are supposed to be just hands down so in love with one another that you're also in love with them. They think that you're in love with them to the point that you would sacrifice your own needs in order to work together as a team here. But you were telling me that your needs right now is you starting over in some aspect of your life where you're kind of healing through something and you're just trying to get to a better space. This person saying, no, Taurus really values our relationship. And I just really want them to admit that to me. <laughs> okay. All right. Tell me why this is delusional, please. Yeah, because of the four of cups, because the eight of swords, it seems as though you've not really given them a signal, a hint. You've not really agreed. You've not given this person the idea that you wanted this. So from the looks of things in this reading, especially you have either said no with your words or actions and you have closed off and pulled back here, but here comes somebody still pursuing, still trying. They don't understand that. They're not coming from a space of, okay, let me just stop. Okay. So definitely someone who runs the risk of running over your boundaries here, Taurus. So maybe just keep that in mind here because they're saying, I don't, they're, they really don't get it. They don't understand when to stop. And they don't know that your energy is just fully pulled back at this point. They just don't see it that way. Okay. This is delusion. Absolutely. All right. So here comes that spiritual awakening. Hopefully, um, the thing is the awakening here was about their feelings for you. So this is someone who's fully in the space of we're supposed to be together. We're going to, you know, we're soulmates. We're meant to be married. We're going to be together from here on out from this day forward. You're my person and I'm yours. That That's their delusion. When your actions and behaviors are not supporting this idea. So it's a little bit concerning, but I'm not sure. So let me just, you know, give you a little disclaimer. If something is happening that somebody is directly opposing your boundaries, please contact authorities, of course, or someone who can help you because I don't know your specific situation. But in this reading here, it's looking like someone just can't take a hint. Okay. So they're just not catching the hint. They're not catching it. And it may be more than a hint that you've given. What does Taurus want with this person? Oh, let's cover that right there. <laughs> So, so the six of swords is here and that's the thing you may feel as though this person is trying to manipulate your energies in a way that 
would make you feel either turned on or excited about it. And you're saying, that's not resonating with me. I don't feel this way about this person. I am not excited like they are. They may be trying to bum rush you. And that could be a double entendre here, okay? Because I feel like this is somebody definitely trying to get you activated to feel something for them. When your main energy right now is talking about you healing, you getting to a better place that you just want. I'm hearing calamity. So things could have been very maybe crazy prior to this little bit chaotic energy. You want to be in alignment with your goals. You could be learning something new or you've started down this new career path where you are taking the role of somewhat of an apprentice. So you're perfecting some stuff here that is supposed to help lead you into a better space and you have future ideas that you are in alignment with. But your future idea is not accepting somebody with a wand coming in. Okay, because you appear to be wanting to stay focused. There's an element of fantasy that you are attributing to you and yourself and your goals, which is in a more healthy way because you're striving for that as opposed to this person's energy of fantasy is airing on full blown delusion where they think that you guys, you know, are going to make something out of nothing at this point. And, and they think that it's going the distance and the whole mile here, Taurus. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to talk about you now so that, you know, let's just pull here actually maybe three more cards, see what's going to happen next with this individual just quickly spirit. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. This is why I kind of didn't want to, um, talk about this here. But here's the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is choosing a different path in this reading. Okay. This may be a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Pisces, or what have you. But whatever the case, um, it's 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 leaving. This is being tapped out on. Whatever waiting, the pause, you know, the hopefulness, all of that. There will be another awakening. There will be another realization about someone's true feelings about a situation, what is going to come of this and what is not, okay? And this is looking like there's going to be an ending here and a realization that it's done, that people need to tap out and kind of keep in their own lanes for the time being. That doesn't mean that you won't reconnect or what have you, but right here, this is about having more distance and stop putting eggs in a basket that does that has a hole in the bottom or does not exist. It's even like just a fantasy basket. Someone is barking up the wrong tree with you, Taurus. It's not what they think it is. So there's absolutely some delusion in this reading today. But here's the realization in the future. This is saying, okay, so I guess it's really done. It's over. And I still see some stagnating around the finish line. So let's say that you ran through and you say, okay, I'm tapped out. I'm done. You pass the finish line and then you get in your little boat in the Six of Swords and you go to another area. Well, this person's still pacing back and forth at the finish line, hoping for you to return for a while. That's what they're going to be doing. Um, I'm getting like separation anxiety here. Someone feels this about you. There are separation anxiety and there's going to need to be some coping skills or some self-care skills in, rela uh, in relation to that. Okay. This is building a bridge and getting over it. Taurus, this is an ending with this person. So show me Taurus with this bridge energy. Three of Pentacles, a higher font. Very nice. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. This is about you. I feel like you're highly focused on yourself. Wow, the high priestess. So you're the bridge between worlds right now. So I want you to know this. You're highly focused on yourself and your well-being and these plans for the future and the goals. And your material realm is going to be growing slowly but surely. Your plans will pan out. Whatever it is that you're learning, you're applying yourself, you will reap rewards from this point forward. You will. This is going to happen. So... I see that you have a very fruitful pursuit here. 
Now, the fact that we have a lot of spiritual energy here as well, this is telling me that you are the bridge between worlds. You may be connecting your material realm and the spiritual realm at the same time. So this may feel that you are being guided, which you are. You are being guided. So this is you listening to that intuition of yours. Your gifts will be heightened. Your intuition is going to be heightened about where you need to go and at any given moment where you need to be. And I see you actually carrying through and following through on that. You're going to be thinking very long and hard about your goals as well as the amount of time that it's taken you to build up into this point and whether you do or you don't have any more extra energy to pass on to other people in the environment or to share your time with others. You're going to be very cautious about this. You're going to be more patient. You're going to feel at ease in this way because you managing your energy and your time and your spiritual defenses here as well is making you feel so at ease and comfortable and hopeful for the future that it's going to be manifesting this way for you as well. So I see a lot of good energy here with your... Um, Whatever was happening in the past is being mended. So if there was a problem regarding your this path of yours, it looks like financial or a, a course of study, for example, it's planning out or it's panning out. Your plans are panning out. Okay. I do see this here. Yep. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Very beautiful, gorgeous, perfect energy coming your way. Mm -hmm. Just be mindful of whoever may or may not be barking up the wrong tree here. Okay, just be mindful. That's in the energy very heavily. So we're going to need to be very practical and realistic and pay attention to the signs. So what is this nine of swords? Okay. So the three of swords, you may at times have surges of worries, concerns, maybe anxieties, like you're battling some certain demons here because of past pains and hurts. Know that this is a healing process and you are moving through it. So yes, there will be times where you may feel a little uncomfortable, but this could be your sign to practice whatever type of self-care that you do have in your repertoire, your toolbox, or to tap back into spirit and to God and to universe or however you like to feel best. I do see that here, okay? Somebody's having difficulty grappling with the truth, and this may also cause some stress and concern here as well. Okay. Let's see. What does Taurus need to know for the coming period? Wow. Taurus. I, 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 I hot mama or daddy or whoever you are okay <laughs> we've got empress and the nine of cups with the nine of wands see pay attention to who is in your space right boundaries are very important people are gunning for your energy in the coming period but these are energies that you don't feel very comfortable with with this four of cups you may actually feel more drained and i see it's time to be selfish this is a period of time where it's okay for Taurus to be selfish. Maybe you've given your time and energy too much to things that have not been fulfilling you that they may have been draining you. So go ahead and treat yourself. Treat yourself to any sense of feeling of comfort, of course, in moderation, all things. But I'm seeing here, you're that B, okay? You're that person in the coming period and you know it. And so be selfish. Don't be afraid to say no to people. It's looking like this is helping you get what you want. You're Like you're getting into alignment here by activating this energy. You're activating the Empress energy. Yes, I do deserve good things. What are you talking about? Or who are you? I do deserve good things. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. Give me one of these for Taurus regarding this or otherwise. Anything that could bring Taurus's energy into alignment or... Be supportive. Anything beneficial for Taurus? Spirit? What is it? The answers you need are coming. Yeah. Well, it's nothing will come of this situation. So we know this. We know this. Okay. Like I said, someone's having difficulty grappling with some sort of a truth. 
there's not going to be a new beginning in this energy at this time. It's just not. The answers you need are coming. Okay, so you may be speaking to a Gemini here. So this is focus on practicality, focus on truth, focus on what's in front of you, the things that are within your reach, not necessarily things outside of it. One more for Taurus. You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, your space. This is what this is here. It's like, who are you and why are you here? You look really suspicious. Doesn't that person look suspicious? It's like, are you fighting for me or against me? And I see that this will be your energy here. Confidence is your key to success. And I see that your confidence is stemming from a place of knowing that you are the ish, right? Knowing that you deserve, knowing what you want, and not being afraid to say no, as well as saying yes when good things do happen and the good things do come your way. So indulgent a little bit, but in a healthy way is what I'm seeing. Mm. New moon and cancer. This is the beginning of a new era. It feels very loving and peaceful in your energy, but you got to get out the bad weeds is what this is. Okay, new moon, new moon. Thank you so much, Taurus. Feel free to check your other placements. I'll see you next time.